Okay, good morning everyone. It is 9am. It's the 31st of July, which means it's the first game of the season. So I had a good sleep last night. Um, I woke up feeling actually pretty relaxed. That anxiety that I've had the last couple of days seems to have sort of not washed away, but subsided. Um, so that's quite good. I'm quite relaxed. It's The weather is nice today. It looks like it's going to rain at some point, but it means I can at least go through my normal motions today of going for a pre-match walk and um, I can eat outside and chill out and relax for the next sort of couple of hours. The game is about an hour's drive away, so I have to factor that in. So I'm going to have to leave the house roughly about court one today. Um, so to be there on time, because uh, I want to get there an hour and 15 minutes before, because that's when my assistants are meeting me. So the idea is to just go through the motions today and see how I react and pick up certain things throughout the day and if my sort of nerves kick in a little bit more close to the time and realistically I can then monitor on what time they come in and see how I can deal with them uh, throughout the season so yeah um, after the game I'll probably have a call with my coach to ask him how he went um, or ask, he'll ask me how it went how I felt and um, yeah then we can improve go forward and hopefully it's a good game the weather looks like it's going to hold it's going to be hot today so plenty of fluids um, I've got another surprise for the kit bag today um, because the weather's been pretty rubbish so I had to pull out something uh, from the garage so we'll show you what that is today and hopefully I don't use it but um, we'll see. Okay so I'm changing up the pretty much water today just to try and keep things fresh, keep me going. Um, just in the woods around the back behind 10 minutes from my house. Just quite nice, quite scenic. Um, like I said the walk's only going to be about half an hour. Um, I'm starting things are starting to creep in people have been texting me about the game now and I in group chats my mates they've all got games as well so you know things are starting to pick up now it's starting to feel a little bit more real if you will um but you know I still feel pretty confident it's quite warm actually it's like very humid muggy like close so um fluids are going to have to be an important one I've got gels as always my hydro tabs so I should be okay um in terms of that side of things I've got sweets as well if I need them um, for the assistants as well. I think it's squashies this week, so they are very polarizing. Pretty much sweet, I know, but um, I quite like them. And I'm the one that eats most of them, so um, so yeah, I'll probably take a Lucas Aid as well, you know, for half time, maybe a banana, like I'll really go for it today. Um, and yeah, this is the pretty much walk, so we uh, yeah, are going to be out here for another probably half hour just to keep calm and listen to music uh, that's sort of not too upbeat um, pretty mellow if anyone wants to really precise probably about 80 to 120 beats per minute so sort of tropical house if you will so yeah see you in a bit okay so it's kit bag check time um, I've gone through it um, very meticulously today so today it's night polo top and tracksuit bottoms because that's what the dress code is today. We haven't gone back to suits as of yet, which I'm not gonna lie, quite like. I think it's a lot better, it makes us a lot more comfortable and we don't stand out as much. But it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts and opinions, just to let us know in the comments. I'll be wearing these shoes as well, which are the Nike Windflows. Um, so they'll be on my feet. In terms of kit today, uh, this is the badge I've got to wear, the Southern Combination badge. Uh, I've packed two of those shirts just in case, because you never know. I've got a brand new pair of match socks. Uh, the match socks I've been currently wearing, which are still quite new. Shorts, warm-up gear, which is a top and a mid-layer. I'm still using the Sussex badge today. Not the new one I bought, just because um, basically I can use that on the Ishman League. Match return, just in case, or sort of like the fees and stuff, just in case the club don't have one. Whistle, spare watch, um, match pad. The flags, a spare pump. I'm going to have a Lucasade, a tab in there, which has obviously got water in at the moment a spare towel and a gel, which is still the last one of the black currants. Wash bag, mask, under armor as always, under shorts, spare boxes, because you never know what's gonna happen. These under socks, which are okay to use, you need, I'd suggest if, you, if your boots are loose, wear them. Um, I will keep using them for now, because I felt comfortable in them. The weapons of choice today, which are gonna be back in under armor, because they're light and comfortable. The Nike Prems with a spare towel and today's new sort of addition to the kit bag is this boot body uh, spray deodorant because obviously my feet are getting quite sweaty um, from running around a lot. 
So basically, I'm just going to pack all this up. Um, and my watch is on charge. I've got a spare watch as well because obviously it's just about being prepared for everything today. Um, I've got more chance of my old watch dying than my Apple watch. So that's great. We're going to pack all this up, get ready to go. And the next time you'll see me, I'll be at the ground. So I'll see you at the ground. Okay, so I've made it to the ground. It's me on my own. I've just set up my kit. As you've seen, um, pretty much nerves are getting a little bit more now. It's about now. Things are kick off. Just waiting for my two sisters. I'm just going to go grab a drink in the bar area. Meet the two secretaries, say hi, show my face, and yeah, um, let's get this. Get the show on the road. As you can see, I'm quite out, not out of breath, but I'm quite hyped up now. So. I'm going to vlog until after the game now because I've really got to get my head down and focus and uh, yeah, I'm pretty ready and raring to go. Spoke on the phone with my friends. Uh, I'm speaking quite quickly, I'm quite nervous. Um, so yeah, uh, now I've got to get fully focused and channel these nerves. Um, so the game's done. It was a tough game today. You know, there were a lot of decisions to make. A lot of, it was a gritty game. The team that probably should have won lost. Um, I gave two penalties, I gave, I had two big sort of key match incidents one penalty which I gave in the first half and one penalty which I gave in the second half I didn't give in the second half because I thought the keeper won the ball and from my angle the keeper touched the ball and it went out uh, for a corner but obviously the momentum of the player is still running forward there's been contact and he's gone down but the keepers won the ball made like come out won the ball and pushed it away so what did you, you know in that situation I thought the keeper has been all fair and obviously after the problem is, is after the game you're dealing with people like cameramen showing me pictures like as I'm walking into the tunnel like this is you know this is what you've missed you've missed this you've killed us and it makes it tough because steals don't give out the whole picture you can easily take a steal of you know a player jumping over like a yellow um, like a tackle that looks like a red card but isn't a red card or you can make a, a genuine tackle look like a red card from a steal shot so in terms of that it was tough and you know I've had to work hard after the game with the manager of the losing team. And the problem is you're always going to annoy 11 players on you, 11 people, and plus the manager, so a squad with a decision. You know, one team are going to think you're God's greatest gift um, in terms of that, because, you know, you've made the, ta you've made the challenge um, or you've made the decision. And one people are always going to feel aggrieved. And the problem is you have to pick your battles, like I said last week. And I picked this one because I thought, you know what? I'm going to die on my hill and I'm, I'm convinced I'm right. I don't think I've made a mistake. I saw what I saw. I remember it clearly. I can still picture it in my head now what happened. And obviously, you know, someone's always going to be aggrieved. And if I'm wrong, I'm happy to say I'm wrong. Hopefully we can get the footage. But I generally don't think I'm wrong. And, you know, this is the problem with, you know, people taking photos now. Is that it doesn't give the whole side of the story. It just gives people what they want to see. Um, which is slightly frustrating, but I seem to have smoothed things over with the manager and he was like, yeah, look, I'm glad that you've spoken to me because sometimes, you know, it's, if you just shut me out and said, no, look, it's a penalty and shut the door on me, then he would have been more frustrated. But he sort of saw my side of things. I saw his side of things. And Lingfield thought that, you know, they saw the same thing as me in terms of the keeper touched the ball first, but obviously they're going to say that and Locks are going to be like, oh, we feel aggrieved and that's fair enough. You know, that's football. We're not going to make everyone happy and we have to learn and be like yeah we're not going to make everyone happy um but you know at the end of the day it was tough i'm pretty happy with how i performed i'm going to speak to my coach now and you know see if i can go backwards and have a chat but it was it was tough today it was hot i felt like i'd got a lot of things right a lot of not dissent but you know every tackle was ref 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 so you know you have to learn to deal with that what's a foul what's not keep an eye out for the right things so yeah, on to Tuesday really. Um, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna take you through my sort of dinner and my recovery tomorrow as well. So that should be the 
the rest of the vlog. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get match footage. I've asked for it, and they were like, "Yeah, sure, we'll give it to you," um, but we'll see. So yeah, we are gonna go through John your match, some of the key match incidents, right? Yep. Um, but before we do, like, give me an overview of like how you think the whole day went. I know you were a bit nervous going into the game. I've never seen you like that, so that was interesting. Um, during the week, you were like, well, okay, I'm a bit anxious. Yeah, yeah it's all me through. So, like I said, all pre-season, I had no sort of pre-match anxiety or nerves, really. And then probably about the Wednesday time, Thursday time, it started creeping in. And, you know, all the preparation that you've done in pre-season, and I'm not going to lie, I didn't think I had the best pre-season I had. You know, I had a back injury that put me out for a week and a half, and I didn't do as much gym work as I wanted to. So, I felt somewhat prepared, somewhat not prepared. I probably felt more prepared in terms of refereeing than fitness. Um, but in terms of the day, I got to the ground and my assistant turned up late. So it instantly puts the, me on the back foot, really, in terms of like, oh, this is the last thing I wanted to think about. Yeah. And then um, in terms of the game, there were two penalty decisions. One was a penalty, one wasn't, and the team lost 1-0. So okay. obviously, both penalty decisions become a massive deal because one was for one team and one was for another. Mm -hmm. they've both become massive incidents because if you didn't think one was a penalty and the other one was one team's going to feel aggrieved in terms of the game I gave four yellow cards one for uh, foul tackle and three uh, delaying the restart wow so, okay that's quite a lot yeah so were they quite near the end of the game or yeah they were starting to build up and I was like no, I'm not having this anymore uh, um, I guess against all the t all three of those would have been for the team that were winning I actually yeah yeah and it finished one nil so that was the overview of the game. Obviously, okay. it took a little bit of stick for one of the penalties, which we'll discuss and why I took yeah. stick for it. Um, yeah. And 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 what you you mentioned your assistant turning up late, like how late? So it was a three o'clock kickoff. Yeah. What time do you normally get to a game? I asked this level? around between one forty-five and two because that's what time okay. I tend to get there. So plenty of time for you know a fifty-minute error. If he got there closer to two o'clock, I wouldn't have been too bothered. But he turned up at twenty past. So how does that? How does that affect you? Because you you've mentioned it obviously affected your your kind of pre-match. Um, yes. So I give fifteen minutes for my assistants to go get a cup because I don't drink tea or coffee. Um, I yeah. only drink water. Um, so I give them time to uh, get this. You know, have their tea and coffee, um, and then you know the walk of the pitch for my team tour. Yeah. Settle in. But he turned up and was like, I'm getting a cup of tea. And I was like, we ain't got time. I need to warm up. And he was like, I'm not going to yeah. warm up with you. Okay. So, do you know what I mean? Like, that whole teamwork vibe then disappears because he is now, I'm, 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 rather than we, we, we. Like, I'm more than happy but, to. And that's really I'm interesting fine. because, like, I've been to games where I was the assistant, let's say, and it's getting nearer to kickoff. And I'm like, oh, are we going out for a warm up? Um, and the referee decides actually, they don't want to go out for a warm-up and vice versa i've been the referee where assistants have said hey i don't want to go out for a warm-up so now i make sure that as soon as i get there i'm going to even before we do a proper team talk i'm going to say cool well here's here's a time when i'm going to go out and do a team talk here's a time i'm going to go and do a warm-up if you would like to join me you're more than welcome to if you don't want to that's your prerogative too like yeah. i'm not there to pull them out um but yeah it can it can have an impact but then you know, it helps, right? Because it, it, if your assistant knows I'm going to be 20 minutes late, oh, okay, cool. I've missed out on the cup of tea and settling in, right? I'm now going straight into the gentle yeah, yeah. warm-up, etc. I feel so, like as an assistant, know. though, you've got to be slightly more sort of, you know, it's the referee is the one that takes all the pressure, basically. Like, in my team, talk, I say, oh, I'll take the pressure off you guys. So can you take the, mm -hmm. like, that's the time where you'd be like, okay, I'm late. I've missed my tea. Luckily, I was inputting data into i put my team sheets into my phone on ref six so yeah I, I was still in my flow and it got mm -hmm. to a point where he was like oh i'm just gonna amble around i was like no nah, i'm going for a warm-up now because mm -hmm. i couldn't compromise anymore i'm more than happy to compromise to keep my assistants happy because at the end of the day you have to work with them trust them but yeah. it got to that point where i was like nah enough is enough now i need to get into that but okay let's let's go through some of the clips i'm, I'm super intrigued um to see how they went firstly this ground looks really nice it's a like great setup, to be fair. It looks really cool, yeah. Yeah, here we go. So now, look, I've the ball has moved and I'm stuck behind a player. Yeah. In terms of a quick break, he's on side, six is keeping him on, so that's easy. But I haven't really started moving and the ball's already been kicked. Yeah. So for me, in terms of like development for this whole thing, is I need to be on my toes quicker. Because yeah. look, here, 
I'm a long way out and you can see my movement. You're about to start sprinting now. I have got to make, and obviously I'm out shot now, but you'll see me coming in and I am having to make absolute yards up. Yeah. You um, get, you do catch up pretty quickly here, to be fair. And that's what gets yeah. me out of trouble. My speed yeah. can get me out of trouble, but I've got to learn to not use that. Mm-hmm. And obviously the ball cuts inside, so I'm now in a great position. I take that step back, which is really important. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of like I've given myself space away from the ball so I knew the player was coming that way so taking that step back helps me and then there's the tackle there so what he's done is he bowled him over and clipped his ankles on the way down um, and then you know we've given the penalty and I've given it straight away and my problem here is is that I've tried to explain it to this lad straight yeah. away be like that's what's happened rather than just accepting it and moving over here and letting them come to me, I've sort of walked into them. Yeah. Um, but I think I get away with it because no one really challenges it. They all know it's a penalty. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, we go up and, and set up. Do you just penalty. want to replay the, the, the challenge? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, it looks like shoulder and uh, in the back and then... Shoulder and then oh, a right. clip in the ankles and they yeah. all tangled legs and... I mean, the guy who actually committed the foul is not complaining whatsoever, really, is he? No. So, so therefore, it's a pretty easy sell. But yeah, penalty seems right. Confident. How does it feel giving the penalty three minutes into a game? Uh, to be honest, it doesn't actually matter. It calms the nerves a little bit in terms of I've made a big key match decision. I've got it right already. So everything from here is mustard. So you were you were completely convinced, confident. There wasn't even a doubt in your mind that it was a penalty. It was a quick decision done. No, positioning wise, I was like, bang, I'm five yards away. Anyone want to complain? No, I didn't think so. Um, yeah, it was that kind of uh, not arrogance, but like I'm here. I've seen it. Like, what more can you argue about? I'm, it's not. This like is what I'm paid to do today. I, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. No, fair enough. And at half time, yeah. usually you'll get a bit of more like, you know, oh, ref, that's never a pen. The goalkeeper came up to me and was like, did he clip his ankles? Is that what it was? And I was like, yeah, and it's half fair enough. And then obviously this brings us on to the big decision of the day, which caused me a lot of sort of jip, as obviously you've heard in the vlog already. Um, Mm -hmm. And I spoke to you about it as well. So we have a situation where we think there's a foul there. Not he's fallen over the ball. Um, and then they start playing it out. It's the ball's going to break the other way in a second, and once again I get caught. So my issue is mm-hmm. here is that I should be moving slightly out here mm-hmm. where my mouse is, rather than put, squeezing the play, because otherwise it just leaves you trapped like this. You see, look, I'm now here. I've got the decision bang on, yeah. So yeah. I see this decision, but again, luckily I was quicker to react to this one. But um, I should be here already for this ball over the top. And the ball comes in and the challenge comes in now. And I instantly give a corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we take it back, the problem is (laughs) now. I am here still moving forward, but this player is slightly wider than you think he is and this player has given me a very, very clear angle. So okay, I'm... so you've seen it clearly. There's no clearly, player in. Yeah. I've seen the, the goalkeeper come out and touch the ball. Yeah, and therefore it'd be like any other challenge, the keeper's touched the ball and it's gone for a corner, I thought. I, I don't know how, we can't zoom in, but it looks like the keeper's actually got a hand on the ball here because originally everyone said that the guy had rounded him, the attacker had rounded the goalkeeper and it hadn't. Yeah, um, and to be honest, I can understand why they're aggrieved as well because mm. at speed it looks like a pen. It looks yeah. like he's tripped him. It doesn't look like the player, the keeper's won the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but from my angle, I've seen the hand touch, um, mm-hmm. and I think the more I watch it, the more I think that there is like it could go either way. Like you could give the pen on, you could not give the pen. But knowing what I've seen from my angle, yeah. I know it's not a pen and that's why I gave a corner. But that's the most important thing, right? Is you you know what you've seen. You haven't even been blocked off. You you can see a hand on the ball and and you give the decision fairly quickly. Can you play it on? Obviously it goes over. But he then says, Is that a penalty? And I say no. Look, you can hear me well not hear me, but look at me say, Yeah, that's a pen. And player reaction here, if 
usually if I'd made utter, like if I'd dropped the ball massively and had a clean yeah. up, I'd have one, two, up here, five, six, seven, probably the goalkeeper, eight people around me being like, ref, what the hell is going on? And yeah. I, have, let's have a look, we'll go forward. One player walking off, two players walking off, one player talking about why it's not a pen and why it's only a corner. Everybody yeah. else sort of ambling in, ready for the corner. So player yeah. reaction actually says, I've got it right. Mm-hmm. The keeper didn't look sheepish straight away. He instantly turned around and said, I got the ball. I can understand why they're aggrieved, but, you know, they can't be but that it, aggrieved. But, it, but it, doesn't, says, it doesn't look like there, there's any grievance on the field, right? No, but obviously yeah. I, the problem with this is afterwards I had a still shot and I'll put it here in the vlog over this little screen here of what the picture shows. I've shown you yeah. the picture and it shows the ball up in the air and the guy going over him. And obviously from that picture, you could easily say it's a penalty. But the, the ball's, ball's been played by that point. But the ball's yeah. already been played by the keeper at that point, hence the bounce. And I personally probably got it wrong then. I reckon the keeper saved it and it's come off the attacker and gone for a goal kick. So there is a mistake in here, but not the mistake that everyone thinks. Yeah. Because when I watch it back, I think it's a goal kick. Yeah, I think I think the keeper plays it onto the def- uh, onto the attacker when it goes off. But you, <laughs> there's a there's an element of safe refereeing here, which is the team want a penalty. You've seen a touch by the goalkeeper. The cor- a corner is kind of like a a safe outcome of this situation, even though it's maybe not correct. Yeah, um, yeah. I think it's, it's, if if you give a goal kick there, not only have they not got a penalty, but they've now got not got the attacking opportunity. And at, at the time, I generally thought it was a corner. In my mind, it was corner, corner, corner. Never penalty. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I say, I say, safe referee. I, I say it's safe in the fact that it's kind of a middle ground in terms of the outcome of the incident because it's not a penalty; it's a corner. But if you see it, the goalkeeper saves it, and then it does go onto the attacker and goes out. You know, you give a goal kick. Don't make yeah, yeah. that up. You know, but. It was a lucky kind of accident that you kind of gave a corner. But I don't see too much of a player reaction. What's this number? I think it's number nine talking to you now. Is he just asking? Yeah, he was like, why is that not a pen? I said, keep his touch ball, hence the corner. And, you know, sometimes in the moment, it's a little bit hard for them to grasp it straight away. And, you know, you understand that football is an emotional game. Um, So it was easy to just be like, look, that's just what I've seen. And again, who's really complaining? No one. They've all lined up for a corner. So, mm-hmm. and these this was a team that if they felt aggrieved, I knew about it. Yeah. Um, so this this is an indication for me that I still have got it right. Yeah. Um, and what, obviously, what a, if it was what? a foul, it would have been a yellow card to the keeper because we can say that he made a genuine attempt to play the ball. Yeah. But would it have been a yellow? Was it reckless? Oh, but you're if saying dogzo. Yeah, you're saying dogzo, yeah. so it has to be yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you're right. And then, um, um, cool. I, I think I personally like. I don't think the camera angle is conclusive enough to say you got it right or wrong. I agree. But, but I think you've got, um, or how you've just described it, it probably would indicate you were correct. And based on what I'm seeing in the reaction, it doesn't seem like uh, the players are too uh, too fussed by. It. What about the yellow cards? Were they were the uh, the yellow card the actual foul challenge? Was it? It comes from an attacking corner. So here we are. So they play the attacking corner. It's a good corner. I'm quite static again, but I knew what I wanted to do there. And then look, on the move quickly, bang. Is what he's not tried to play the ball. He's wiped the man out. The ball's gone. It's um, it's not delaying a promising attack. It's quite <laughs> simply a uh, reckless challenge. Reckless. Yeah, because it's hard to give a promising attack in the right back spot. Yeah, but it's quite a quick caution procedure. He knew. Look at him, like he yeah. knows. Like turn him around to be like, yeah, thanks. So brilliant. I, I, look, from what I've seen, I feel like those decisions were, were good. I think you can be definitely happy with that. What um, what are what were your overall kind of learnings from the game? Overall learnings. It's hard to, especially with too much instance like. I need to be more, I need to read the game a little bit more in terms of getting a little bit wider and being on my toes a little bit more because that long ball, I am quick, but I cannot rely on my speed to get me out of everything. Yeah. Um, so I need to be ready. And I think I was a little bit too central for my own liking. So I need to remember exit left because mm-hmm. um, then I know I have more space and let play build up in front of me from the halfway line and yeah. not 
in the defensive third and that's why I got caught out a little bit too much. Oh, awesome, John. I think it looks good. I think you did well. Thank you. From, from what I saw. I'm not going to watch the whole game, I'm going to be honest. No, that's fine. <laughs> <I wouldn't. laughs> cool. All right, well, hopefully... Uh, uh, thanks for inviting me on your vlog anyway. No, that's all right, mate. Hopefully we can do this for uh-huh. you sometime. Yeah, fingers crossed. See you in a bit. <laughs> Okay, welcome to Sunday. Um, today's going to be quite a simple day. Um, as you can see, I'm dressed up to go for a run. So I'm just going to go for a light, uh, a light, light jog to recover my legs. So I'm going to do speed session tomorrow before the New Haven game. Uh, but I'll take you through that tomorrow. Um, basically, it's going to be a nice and simple day. The time is 8.30 at the moment. I'm going to go for a run before it gets hot. And then I'm going to go watch my mates play football for their Sunday league team. So... Um, what basically I'll do is probably I'll end up running the line, um, but you know it's um, Sunday league, so it's nothing too major. So, but yeah, it'd be nice to get out and do stuff. Um, and then I'm going out for my mate's birthday, so it's a nice relaxed day. In terms of how I feel, I feel good, mentally better, in a better place. And yes, not I wasn't like I was in a bad place, but I feel good. I'm over it now. I'm looking forward on to um, it's a Tuesday night, you know, I've debriefed it, I've closed it, the book is closed. I won't check social media between the two clubs anymore. Um, I know there was a bit going on about them. Um, so basically what I'm going to do now is move on, on to Tuesday and we go again. So thanks for watching uh, this vlog. Uh, if you, you know, enjoyed it and love the content, please comment down below of what more kind of things you'd like to see in these, in these vlogs and um, subscribe if you're new. And thanks and I'll see you later.